Greetings everybody, how is it going? I hope everything is fine. Today we're going to look at what is going to happen in the near future for you. But I would like to call it like the story of you. Because I have the feeling of like the near future is bringing you some kind of an event that is going to be impactful for a while. And I think the seeds are being sown. You will see what we are talking about, okay? Basically. I would like to use my ghost deck and I also would like to use the keeper deck. Let me give you enough of time so we can meditate on my pebbles and then I will start with this one. Hello number one, how's it going? As I promised, I'm gonna use my keeper deck. So let's just like pull some cards. What is going to happen for you that is going to be impactful for a future certain period of time at least? High honor, doing the right thing. Okay. A false person. You see there's like some kind of a matter of like you did the right thing. No, you didn't do the right thing. You lied. No, you said the right thing. You know, something is going on. Okay, I have the feeling. All right. Expectation. One more. And a child. Maybe a childlike behavior. Okay, we will look at the... Hold on a second. Let's just like zoom out a little. We will look at the other cards as well. The tarot cards, I mean. Okay. But first, let's talk about it. Something is going on with your life. Somebody is acting up. Somebody is doing the wrong thing. Somebody is just acting really childish. They are maybe running away some kind of a responsibility. They are not doing the things that they're supposed to do. And the things that they're supposed to do is possibly going to ease your life it is going to be really helpful to you or maybe to the others as well but this person is not doing that okay this person is not doing that this person is lying this person is being really deceitful and you don't deserve something like that and i think in the near future what you're going to have is like some kind of a confrontation with this person you are going to say that this person is not okay or what they're doing is not okay. They have to they have to clear things up. This person can be a cheater. This person can be like uh, financially insufficient or maybe not responsible, okay? That person is mm -mm. something is wrong with this person. This person is just like creating some kind of an expectation like promising you, "Oh, you know, tomorrow there will be something something and I will go there and then you know, nice things are going to happen. But tomorrow happens and nothing good is happening. This is like a, you know, I don't want to go full therapy talk, but this person is possibly a manipulator or like a compulsory liar. This is not a good person, okay? This is not a good person. But let's see what the tarot cards are going to say, like what can happen... If you have a child with this person and if this person is promising you about like they're going to help you with the child, they're going to pay some kind of an alimony or they're going to take care of the child or maybe it could be like, you know, you can spend your time with your friends, I'm going to take care of the child, but they don't, you know, they don't do the things. They are maybe using this weaponized incompetence, something is off, something is off, okay doesn't have to be like that though you know there's a person who is behaving like a child they are really spoiled they don't do the things that they're supposed to do it could be anybody you know but just trying to create some kind of a narrative for the people that was an example okay 
Let's see, let's see how it is going to be impactful in your life. Okay, let's just zoom out a little bit more. <laughs> I zoomed out a lot. <laughs> okay. Six of Wands. Okay. Six of Pentacles, two of six. Okay. It's like owning them. It's like you cannot run away from this thing anymore. Like you have the high ground. You have this like, I know I am right. I have the receipts. I know that what you're doing is wrong and you have to pay me or you have to do the right thing. Like you're going to corner them. You're going to corner them. I wonder why it's going to be important though. Okay, you have to be the one who is fixing things up. It can be bothersome. Like, this is not your mess. Why do you have to be the one who is fixing things up? You didn't create this mess, you know? Okay, all right. Otherwise, it is going to create some kind of a problem or you're going to create this environment that is going to be a little maybe anxiety driven like no we cannot do that no I have to think about tomorrow no I cannot spend that money what if I need that money for tomorrow like if you if you don't fix it if you don't change the situation it is going to affect you but I wonder like why this person is being really that effective in your life like they are creating such a mess and you have to be the one who is fixing it. Why you are the one who is fixing it, you know? Or if they are really that in insignificant, they don't have anything in your life that is really helping you in any possible way, then why they are in your life? Why? Why you feel like you are the one who is responsible to fix it? Okay, you have been burnt before about this situation. So this person did this again. Like, this is not the first time this person is creating a mess. This is something that have happened before. You cannot maybe find a way out. Okay, it is, it is like a... It sounds like a negative reading, isn't it? But it is not. Because something is going to change and you're going to corner them. Never forget that. You're going to corner them. This is not you. You felt in this position before. But this is not who you are now. Okay? They are the one who is going to feel anxious. They are going to lose their sleep over what is happening. And they are the ones who are feeling like they are being cornered. But like it has a negative undertone. I cannot lie about it. Like, it is not something sweet. Maybe there's going to be some kind of a an argument. I'm not going to call it a fight, but some kind of an argument. Like, emotions are going to flow in a negative way. Like, a lot of ugly crying, maybe. But at the end of everything, you're going to feel good. Never forget that. You have the six of wands. You know, it could be something like that too, for argument's sake. There is a family, okay? And in this family, like three children, you are one of them. And you have those siblings, you are always feeling like this competition with the siblings. And one is high achiever, one is underachiever, and the other one is just like, I am not playing this game. You know, the elder one is the high achiever, most likely. The middle one is like, I nope, no, nope, this is not my game. The younger one is like the underachiever, but who happens to be the one who is getting all the, you know, the nice words. Or they are just like having an easy life than the elder one. Imagine that, you know, it's like the basic thing, isn't it? Finally, the elder child is getting the recognition that they need or they want, okay, from life. What they were doing was the right thing and the other child was kind of acting up. But, you know, they cannot shake off the feeling, this is family, if there's a mess, I have to fix it. It could be something like that. Possibly a family-related situation that I see. Like, it is a family member, it could be a father, it could be, like, a brother, it could be... I don't know why my 
reading it as like a male. But this person is not doing the things that they're supposed to do. What they're supposed to do is like taking care of the family as much as the other people in the family. Or maybe even loving them. If you don't love them, you don't take care of them, basically. You know, this is what they say. Or everybody is suffering and they are not suffering. They're just like having, you know, the normal day. That suffering doesn't belong to them. They don't feel that the negativity does not belong to them. They always find a way out of those kind of negativities. Like they are the only ones who have the ideals and they are the only ones who are having these aspirations for their own life. And the others are just like a middleman for their own expectations from life. You know, they want to be something big. Like you don't want to be someone big. You know, they are always having this ego. There's like a, you know, I said negative undertone in this thing. Like I can be such a perfect person. I can be such an you know, amazing person. Whatever they're doing, you know, if they are working as a doctor, they say like, I can be the best doctor. But when you look at it, Maybe the family members pushed that person to be a doctor and they cleared the way for them. They paid for the student loans. They didn't do anything for it. It just like landed on them. But they feel like they are talented and they can do it because they didn't work on it. They feel like it is like a God-given precious thing. Like nobody is having other, but it is not the situation. You know, it is not what happened. They... We're giving those kind of things because the family had the false expectations. They thought that this person can do better. But no. You know, when you are not being equal to your children, like everybody's getting the same treatment, it can show itself quite clearly like this. Like this is the reading of like a spoiled child, you know. I think you're going to corner them one way or another. They cannot escape but face the truth, like what is happening in their own life, like how it happened. You know, like maybe they are not talented that much. Maybe they don't have that kind of a value, like a, like a super value, like they're like superhuman. Like nobody is having it, but they are the ones who are having it. They are going to face the reality, like they are not that different than the other people. And they have responsibilities as like the other people they have the similar situations with the other people so they cannot run away from this thing it could be a debt actually you know maybe they expected you to pay for it maybe like they thought that it will not be a problem but it become a problem and they just like can you help me with this thing but there's like a turning point like you are not covering for them anymore you felt like you have to cover for them before, maybe because of the love that you had for them, maybe because you had like the responsibility for your family. You know, there there's some kind of a pressure on you to fix the problems for the other person. But this time, they have to fix the problems, but you are the one who is controlling it. So it's like, I have to put it in this way, like I'm thinking about it. Like they are being the inmate and you are being the guardian, you know, correction officer. I don't know what they're calling it. <laughs> like, no, you cannot do that. No, it's not going to happen in that way. No, you cannot spend that money in this way. No, you cannot go there. No, you cannot leave whatever you are doing or whatever you are studying. No, you cannot. No, it's over. No, no more free pass. No more, you know, easy life for you. It's going to be heavy, but not for you. I'm not saying that you're going to enjoy the other person's suffering. Okay, it's a choice, but I don't think that it is going to happen. But you are going to see the character growth of the other person. You don't have to, but you're going to see it anyways. Okay, if you don't do that now, if you don't corner them now, they are going to create more problems in the future. And you know that. You know because it happened before. 
it happened before and it can happen again there's always this anxiety like if i don't be you know serious and maybe a little cruel that person is going to do that again and i'm going to feel in this position again maybe you have that kind of a feeling but it is not going to create this negative cloud on your shoulders or like on your head or it's not going to blur your vision for the future you know you will find a way to fix things but this time it is going to be for you not for them there is a difference yes there's some kind of a fixing that is going on but it is going to happen for you not for them they are not going to be the one who is just like getting an easy pass again there's nothing easy in this thing if there's a suffering everyone is suffering believe me they are also suffering and this time maybe they never felt the suffering before in this magnitude they are going to feel the most and you're going to be like oh it's just like a normal wednesday for me and they are like oh my god how you can live like this and you're going to say like i'm living like this for my entire life welcome to my world and this is going to change it's going to create some kind of a shift in the relationship maybe it's going to create more of the respect maybe it is going to create okay i have to do something better like it's going to shake off that other person so you can have something so much better for you okay that was all i hope you enjoyed this reading i know it was heavy but it was having a good result for everybody i guess and i hope to see in the next ones bye hello number two i zoomed out a little bit because it was impossible for me to put all of the cards now i'm going to put the keeper cards for you to see what is going to be impactful in your life in the near future like a like big event life event even it's going to be impactful and then we're going to see the tarot cards unexpected income can i call you my friend if you know you know <laughs> adjudication okay some kind of a money that is coming from a courthouse i guess like you're gonna get some kind of a money you will get paid okay that was so clear wasn't it the keeper is always doing that like giving the message like okay if there's a money there's a money if there's a problem there's a problem as well family room and wealthy men what is going on somebody is getting rich i guess <laughs> number two what i see here is that you will receive some kind of a money that is going to be impactful for you and for your family it could be like a an inheritance it could be literally something that is going to come to you through adjudication as it says like somebody is going to pay you okay it's going to be like a good kind of a pay it's not like yeah you know money no this is like money like a huge amount maybe it's going to make you feel okay for the first time i'm getting paid for something like this I think what I see here is like what I see here is like the colors okay there's like a teal color like the purple it's gonna bring some kind of a joy into your life unexpected but it is going to be like oh yeah finally like maybe you are not expecting this money maybe you know there's something that is going on at the court for you maybe you're not expecting anything that is going to come to you from that thing but the things are going to change and you're going to get paid at the same time what i can say here is like you can actually sign a really good kind of a paper that is, is going to pay you quite a lot it could be like a job you know you can get a really good kind of a an offer or it could be if you're working as like a freelancer it could be like a really good kind of a project that is going to last for a while and uh, it is going to give you like really good kind of a money signing a really nice kind of a paper and receiving the money afterwards 
It's gonna make you even wealthy. Like maybe you're gonna feel really wealthy or you're going to feel like you can do so much more with the money. It will be really effective. It will be really, really effective. If you're gonna get some kind of a divorce, okay, let's just talk about the divorce like, I don't know, let's talk about it. You will get some alimony that is gonna be good for you and for your family. But let's see the tarot cards, okay? Maybe you expect the worst. Maybe you feel like, no, they're not going to pay me. Or maybe you feel like, no, this job is not going to make that kind of a money. But it will. It will. The lovers. Some kind of a choice. A matter of choice. Ace of Wands. Beautiful job. It sounds like a job, a project, a job, a project, like King of Swords. Six of Swords. It will fix things for you. Leaving the negativity behind. If it is like an ugly situation that you have to go to the court, it will end quite well and you're going to feel like, okay, there's a new beginning. I can do so much more. Now I have the options. I can do everything that I want. Like some kind of a, you know, the golden ticket that is going to be given to you. Three of Pentacles. And the Chariot. Okay. Now, it's like possibly a work-related situation. You're going to sign up really good papers. You're going to have a beautiful job or maybe you're going to have a beautiful project for a certain amount of time and it is going to pay a lot of money. Maybe it is going to pay in a different currency and that's why you're going to have a lot of money. And I think in the near future what you're going to have, it, you know, this project is not going to come to you from the people that you expect, you know. Yeah, I work with them. Maybe they're going to send me something. No, no, no. It's not like that. This is something new, totally new. And uh, you're going to have a new conversation with some people, okay? I see like a new team of people. Maybe you're going to have this choice of like working with different kind of people, okay? You have been doing something for a while. It was not getting the recognition that you thought that it was going to bring you. But now it is going to get the recognition and the recognition is going to bring you different types of people who wants to work with you this time. You know, I see if you applied for different jobs, you're going to have like three companies that are going to be interested with you. Now you have the choices of that. Now it is not just like something that is happening because you're pushing it too hard but this time it is happening because you did the right thing and now it is paying off and i think you will be so successful in this thing because like there is a chariot and a three of pentacles it's talking about like the success at the business so it cannot go bad and also six of swords is talking about like you will have something that is going to fix the problems and, you know, what was happening before, like any kind of negativity that was happening in that certain area, it will fade away. You are going to feel, you know, not everything is about money, even though there is some kind of a money. Not everything is about the money, but you will have this, like, comfort and luxury in your own life. Like, maybe you're not going to spend so much money, but you don't have to, you know what I mean? Like this time, you're going to feel like you're covered. You're going to feel like, okay, this time I can focus on specific things. And I think you will do that. You know, it could be totally different things for everybody. But what I feel in the general, like the feeling of it is like something that you're not expecting, it is going to be presented to you and you are going to take advantage of it so much and it is going to change a lot of things in your life maybe it will create like a new 
life standard for you maybe you're gonna change where you are living right now maybe if you're living with your family you are going to decide okay i'm gonna live by myself or maybe you're gonna have a better situation for your family members to make them happy you know there's an upgrade i see this upgrade is going to create this happiness for you the money that is arriving at your door is more than what you're spending this time okay you will have the surplus and work is going to make you happy it's going to be like a passionate thing for you it's not going to be like oh my god more work what am i going to do with it? no 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 it's not going to make you feel like that it what is going to make you feel like yes this is the work that i would like to do if there's any kind of a work that i am going to do this is the thing that i would like to do and it is going to change a lot of things especially when it comes to your perspective to the life like you will have something a little bit better and you're gonna feel brighter you're gonna feel happier even you're gonna smile people are going to catch you when you're smiling you know maybe it's not happening that often but this time it is going to happen also you're gonna have this chance of dealing with better people you know the three of pentacles let's talk about it this time you are going to see that people are trying to help you they are not trying to scam you and it can be it can be really difficult and sad to see that people are trying to take advantage of you all the time but this time you are going to see that things are changing people are changing their own attitude towards you new people are arriving at your door you know you don't have to deal with the negative people all the time this time this is gonna be a total change for you you know what you can actually buy yourself a car or some kind of a vehicle two vehicle cars we are seeing and even that is going to change the standard of living you know i was talking about it before in other readings maybe you remember that but Maybe you are commuting every day. You are taking the bus. Maybe you're taking a subway or I don't know. This time you're going to use your own car. Even that is going to change something. It is going to ease your life. You know? It will be easier for you. I also see something else. I have to talk about it. When you feel more comfortable, people are going to see that and they're going to feel they are being affected by you how like they're going to see a bright person like a really charismatic person they're going to see you as a catch to be honest and they will try to create some kind of a you know the romantic situation between you and them i don't know how you are going to react to that because you're going to see that they are not only coming to you as a person like if it was the case, they would come to you like yesterday, but now there's something else and they're coming to that. I cannot call it like a pure love, but what I can say, like, you will have this choice of like, okay, should I talk to this person or not? Is this person is here because of the money or the changes that I have done? Or this person is here for the real feelings? They are coming to you because your mood is changing. You are feeling more bright. You are feeling happier this time. And you are glowing, basically. There is a glow up, okay? And when you're glowing, it will catch some flies. What you can do about it, <laughs> you know? You will have the choice of everything. So it is a good thing, you know? No, I don't want to do that. It is a big choice in life. Like It's a big luxury in life. No, I don't want to do that. Not everybody is having that kind of a luxury to say. So I think you, you are having that and it is going to be remarkable for you. You're going to feel light, brighten. Things are going to go in the direction that you want. It will not going to create any kind of a problem. So your impactful event is about money and the work. Things are going to go in a way that you want. And you will see that your living standards are going to change and it is going to be a really happy change for you. Okay, that was all. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the next ones. Bye. Hello, number three. How is it going? I hope everything is fine. I zoomed out a little bit because it was necessary. We are going to put a lot of cards. I'm going to put the keeper cards first. 
to see the impactful event, the story of your life, what is going to happen, and it is going to be impactful. I wonder. Great fortune. Okay, I already called number two, can I be your friend? But I'm going to say that again, can I be your friend? <laughs> All right, money, great fortune. But, you know, the fortune doesn't have to be about money. It could be about luck in different ways, wasn't it? But, of course, I'm going to read it as, like, money as well. So, don't worry about that. Thoughts? Okay, maybe you will have some kind of an inspiration. And it will work wonderfully. Mature woman. Whenever there's like a thought card, there's always like a male or female figure. I wonder why. <laughs> Somebody is thinking about something, yeah, obviously. Like, <laughs> house. Will you inherit a house? Will you buy yourself a house? Will you. Get some kind of a housing situation, like something is going on. What I can say from the beginning is like there is a great consideration of a certain situation. Okay, somebody is thinking big. Somebody is trying to create this situation for the other people, maybe for you, so you can have something so much better. Like. Somebody is trying to be helpful. I think what you are going to have as like the great fortune is like you're going to get the help of the other people or maybe a specific person. Okay, it could be like a grandmother or maybe a mother, an aunt, somebody like that. It is going to be effective in your life. This person is just like, how can I help number three? What can I do for number three? They are just like thinking about you all the time. They would like to help you. It also could be like a somebody who already passed away and they, you know, maybe they prayed for you so much before and now you're going to see the effects of it and you're going to feel like, okay, it sounds like that person, that specific person to me. You're going to have that feeling. It's all happening because of them, thanks to them. With thanks for the help of them. They thought about it before. You know, it could be something like great grandmother decided to have some kind of funds and they passed it on their children. They didn't receive any kind of money from that funds, but now their children and maybe you are the one who's getting like the good results because of that vision of theirs. And you're going to be like, Thank God they did that. Maybe they bought a certain land and it was not making any kind of money and they didn't receive any kind of a goodness from that thing. And they, you know, maybe they suffered. But now that is going to go like a really valuable thing and you're going to be like, they were visionary. They thought that this place would be really valuable and it became really valuable thanks to grandma. You know, that kind of a feeling is too much. They didn't get much for the, for themselves, but you will get a lot thanks to them. It's like all over. It could be a house, you know, it could be a land. Something is going to turn into a beautiful situation and you're going to be like, I cannot believe our luck now. It's all about luck. And the vision of the other people, maybe elder people. They didn't receive much. But they didn't do that to receive something in their own lifetime. They thought about the future. And maybe you're going to have that kind of a feeling for you as well. If you have a family, you're going to save some kind of a money. And maybe you're going to buy some kind of a land for your children. Not for you. Maybe you're not going to get anything. You will keep that thing going. And I think it's going to be really impactful in the near future. You're going to see how lucky you are. Maybe, you know, it was like a big burden to you and your family before. It, you know, that house was requiring a lot of fixing. It was not getting a lot of money. You know, you couldn't rent it or you cannot renovate it. It was just like 
decaying by itself but now the land is going to be so important and you're going to get a lot of money something like that some kind of luck is turning and the vision of the elders are going to show itself you know that's what i like about the keeper it's like so specific If you don't have anything like that, what it could be, I'm just thinking about another kind of an example, what I can talk about. It's like, not even that big, but you know, they did somebody, somebody did something really small as like a gesture. It was not a big deal. They gave you something and it became really important. Something like that. You will see, you will see. It doesn't have to be about the money. Again, I have to say that it doesn't have to be about the money, but it is going to create this value for themselves. Like, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like the result. Nine of Cups. What a beautiful Nine of Cups. Look at that. Can you see it? A beautiful Nine of Cups. I love it. You know how I love Michael's deck. What else? You see, nine of swords, like big wishes, but big anxiety as well, you know. If it goes well, it's going to create a beautiful thing. If it goes bad, it's going to create another kind of an anxiety, but it's not going to go in this way. Like 50-50, it could go 50-50. But you will have the nine of cups. Because there's a celebration, look at that. Three of cups. You're going to celebrate it. It's gonna be like a matter of celebration. Beautiful. Six of Swords at the same place at the number two. If you would like to watch number two, you can do that. Like, think it's gonna be after this, you know what it says here, like, after this, everything is gonna be better. The anxiety is going away, the negativity is going away. After this, like a smooth sailing, isn't it? You see inheritance, ten of pentacles. It's it's about some kind of inheritance, or you're gonna receive something. Like I'm not gonna call it that. It's something unexpected. Okay, I don't think that this is unexpected. But what you are going to see for the first time is how valuable it is. Maybe you already know that like there's a land, you know, laying down. Nothing is happening at that land. Nobody is working on that land or there's no house, nothing is happening. And all of a sudden, you know, the feeling of it, all of a sudden. One more card. The star. I mean, wish fulfilling, like the two wish cards, you know, two of them, a wish is coming through, a wish is coming through, and a lot of money, inheritance, possibly a thoughtful situation, like a consideration of a certain situation, as I said before. But it is not going to turn into a negativity or anxiety in whatsoever. It is going to heal itself. Like from this side, it's just talking about like things were going in a certain way, but this time it's going to go in a beautiful way. It's going to heal itself. Like the star is talking about healing, isn't it? And it's also talking about the, having the faith, you know, somebody believed in something. Like maybe they invested on something and they didn't see the situations or like the beautiful results of the situations, let's say in that way. But now it will show itself. It will show how valuable it is. This cannot go bad. This cannot go bad. This is beautiful. Okay. This is absolutely fantastic, beautiful thing. How intriguing, like in all of the readings, like there was a person who was not doing the well, you know, who was being really shady, 
in the other one you know the person who was just like receiving beautiful situations and they were fixing things and in this one there's the help itself i never say something like this but if you watched all of it i think it has a message for you you know there was a problem but now the problem is going away and the help is on the way it's a beautiful thing when you think about that Possibly you had some kind of a problem before. What it could be about? Like maybe living conditions. Maybe it's about like the economy. Maybe you were feeling like you are poorer than before. Like the economy in, in, in the world is not going that well. You know, people are losing a lot. You know, the inflation is something. Especially if you're living in Turkey. But in here, what I see, things are changing in a good way. So you can cope with those negativities. Like the negativity is out there. Don't get me wrong. Like some kind of an anxiety. What if it goes bad? What if it doesn't happen in the way that they promised? Or what if something happens and I lose this thing? Or what if I cannot deal with this thing anymore? There's some kind of an anxiety. Never forget that. But you are covered. You are covered like... No, it will go in a good way, not in a bad way, okay? It will sort itself out. And, uh, you know, the wish is coming true. Maybe this wish belongs to someone else, you know? They wished, like, a big money. And this money is going to come to you, not to them maybe anymore. But, you know, some kind of wish, like a generational wish is coming true. And this generational situation it is going to be so impactful in your life. And then you're going to have this like before and after you're going to create a life for you and it is going to be impactful because you know the value of it you know how valuable it is and you're going to feel so grateful and you would like to create a similar situation for your children maybe even better so they will not have any kind of a problem in their life like maybe you had maybe they had you know the elder ones had so you're going to plan things so they will they will be honored you know, considerations, thinking about the future, thinking about the past, what I can do about this situation, how can I fix this situation, how can I make it go for a real long run, like it is not going to happen and you're going to be like happy ever after, no, you're going to have this thought for you and for your family and you are going to be really, really careful about the situation, it's not going to be like yeah, you know, the money came and I spent it all. No, it's not like that. There's no spending. There's no money itself, you know. There's no money itself after that. The, what is here is like some kind of an inheritance that is going in a really good direction. Some kind of a luck. Things are turning in a different way. And you are just making it go for a real long run. It's not about the spending. It's not about, you know, you're buying house for everybody. No, it's not like that. Or it is not like about the purchases it's about blessings and celebration of that blessings there's a difference in the perspective and you will see you will feel so happy so blessed so grateful and i'm so happy for you already okay that was all i hope you enjoyed this reading and i hope to see you in the next ones bye